Hello, welcome to my channel, The Hebrew Bible. This is Moses Gumadi. In this video, I want to talk about the seven Hebrew vowels known as seven kings. And I want to contrast the Tiberian pronunciation versus the normal Israeli pronunciation of these vowels. So these seven vowels are not normally taught. Well, the vowels are taught, but not the sounds always in most Hebrew classes. Uh, but I base my video on this particular book um, known as the Tiberian Pronunciation Tradition of Biblical Hebrew. The Tiberians are the ones who invented the vowel system, the dots and the dashes we have, and were based in uh, Galilee in uh, the 8th century, 9th century, etc. There were three different traditions of vowels, uh, the Babylonian, uh, or the Jer and the Jerusalem um, system and uh, the Tiberian system. The other two systems have um, like uh, gone out of use and the Tiberian system has remained. And that is what we see in our Hebrew Bibles. Okay. Now these two volume work uh, written by Jeffrey Kahn, the professor of Hebrew language and Near Eastern languages in the University of Cambridge uh, is actually available online you can search this and you can download and it is actually open sourced uh, for people okay and he has translated the uh, medieval grammar textbook on hebrew grammar uh, written by uh, the the people who came after the tiberians but uh, they were aware of them etc and they have written a grammar book called hidayat al kari and uh, this is the translation of that uh, translated by Jeffrey Kahn and here he says in this page number 129 this is the translation the total number of vowels is seven okay and elsewhere he calls them seven kings which is what we have titled this video as so let's look at what these seven kings are so we have three here to start with we have Patak in the center the sounds like ah ah the regular ah sound Patak and the one on the right is kibbutz, u sound, kibbutz, u sound, the three diagonal dots. And on the left we have hirik, which is a single dot sounded as e. So in the center, a, on the right, u, and on the left, e. Now, in between the patach and the hirik, in between a and e, you can fit in two vowels and they are segol and tsere. Segol is pronounced as a eh, and tsere as a. Eh. A, eh, a. Eh. So now reading from the center from Patak to uh, Herik. A, a, eh, a, e, e. Right. And then in, in between Patak and Kubuts, we can fit in two vowels. Uh, one is Cholam with a dot on the top left and Kamats, which is uh, like the T symbol. We, the, the, these, these we already know. Now, if you want to learn about the vowels in general, there is a separate lesson on the vowels. Uh, and I will try to give a link for that as well, either in the bottom or right here on the screen that you can actually click and watch. Now, now we have these seven vowels here. Uh, they, they're graded as you can see you can actually change the voice from one to the other slowly and uh, move along so let's start from the right side ooh ooh oh ah this is ah kamats ah is like law like uh, as they speak in england in, the, in england uh, in the uk well not maybe like the americans who may say a law but uh, law l a w law uh, also boy boy right it's not bo it's ba the afghans and the persians also use this vowel for example if you go to persia if you go to iran they will pronounce iran as iran they don't say iran they say iran so it is not o kholam it's kamats a a Right, so now reading again from the right. Bu, bo, ba, 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 
B, B. Those are the sounds. Those are the seven kings, as they are called in the Tiberian pronunciation. Now, the other vowels with a, um, you know, with a similar, uh, similar dots and dashes, similar uh, vowel symbols, uh, but uh, having additional. For example, this is shuruk, um, and this is a cholam vowel, right here. Uh, and then we have a tsere, uh, sorry, segol yud, tsere yud, and chirik yud, etc. Also, uh, kamats alef, patach alef, uh, and cholam he, kamats he, patach he. All these combinations, we can categorize them into the same sounds. But maybe you can categorize them the longer vowels. So these are primarily the ones the top, the ones on the top are actually called the seven kings. That's the Tiberian pronunciation of the vowels. Uh, so uh, in Ashkenazi pronunciation as well as uh, Yemenite pronunciation, they they sound this uh, kamats as o, oh, not. So that's where we have it in Chokma. So Chokma uh, it has a kamats. Chokma. So that, that's how they pronounce every word wherever there is, uh, they, uh, there, wherever there is a, uh, there is a kamats. For example, Bereshit bara is a bara or something like that. So that's how they would pronounce. Now, how does the Israeli pronunciation work? Now let's copy the same vowels here in a different color, and I'm going to show you how it works. The tsere and the segol are pronounced exactly the same way in Israeli pronunciation. Also. The patak and the kamats are pronounced exactly the same way. And therefore, we have basically five vowels as in English. We have a, which is patak and uh, kamats. E is a tsere, segol. E is a chirik. O is cholam. And u is kubutz. So basically five vowels as opposed to seven vowels in the Tiberian pronunciation. So that's about uh, Tiberian versus Israeli pronunciation, uh, the seven kings and the seven vowels. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do like this video and subscribe and I'll hopefully uh, get to you with more such videos. Thank you very much.